Hey guys, welcome back to another kill in the opening video. I think it's about two months since I did a kill opening. Summer has been a little bit busy, so what I did is just to glaze the remaining planters that I have, remaining vases, and I think there's two platters that were included in this, and then just few mugs. Some of them are also refired. Okay, let's start with this planter. So this is the two coats of winter wood and then just two coats of the celadon bloom. There's the so it's gonna do like that. So this are reclaimed clay. I mean it's beautiful, but there's a problem. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little bit of a crack. I guess this is gonna become my planter. Okay, for the inside and the bottom part is just two coats of satin patina from Mako. That's two coats. And then for this part I just did the I just did the northern light combination. So the base is two coats of obsidian covered it with three coats of smoky merlot and then four coats of seaweed and then the bottom part there the blue part is three coats of indigo float and that is just plain coats of satin patina two coats so it goes like that oh I did a matching vase for that for a vase two coats of satin patina on the inside and on the bottom part of the vase and then the northern light on the upper part, where in the base is two coats of obsidian, three coats of smoky merlot, seaweed, three coats, and then the three coats of indigo float. I like it. So for the base, that is three coats of honey flux, and then on the rim, and the lower part is two coats of lavender mist from Mako, and then two coats of ancient jasper, and then three coats of textured turquoise. So matching saucer. It's like a hundred degrees in here. We need a similar combination for this vase. Three coats of honey flux inside and outside, and on the upper part and towards the bottom right there is two coats of lavender mist, followed by two coats of ancient jasper, then three coats of textured turquoise. So below the textured turquoise is another two coats of lavender mist. I 
And then the inside is just three coats of honey flux and on the rim part I did put two coats of the lavender mist. Here's another vase. Again, this is a reclaimed clay. Three coats of obsidian inside and outside. Covered with three coats of indigo float until that portion, as you can see. And then on top of the indigo float, I did about two coats of ancient jasper and then left an empty space and then did another two coats of ancient jasper like the middle part. If I'm doing mugs, those are new clay. Those are not reclaimed clay. I only use reclaimed clay for my planters and bases. So this is three coats of iron luster inside and outside. And then I did the three coats of oat meal. So I think I did two. Huge mugs. And then my usual thing, that is three coats of honey flux inside and outside, and then two coats of ancient jasper, three coats of textured turquoise. I did not get a drip. Oh, look at that. More planters. So the inside is three coats of the Albany Slip Brown, three coats, but on the outside, up to this portion that is three coats of the Ancient Copper, and then a tiny band of three coats of Albany Slip Brown. So you can see that is Albany Slip Brown and then transition into Ancient Copper. The inside, three coats of the Albany Slip Brown up to the rim. And then just at the middle, just to give it an accent of green, I put two coats of the Satin Patina. Okay, another three coats of Albany Slip Brown on the inside and on the rim. And the ancient copper with the bottom. And then from there I did three coats of Honey Flux and then covered it with the textured turquoise and then ancient jasper. Refired mugs, which is ancient copper, sapphire float inside and outside, and then I just use some um, three coats of oatmeal.
another refire that is two coats of the winter wood and then top portion is light flux another refired mug that is just the northern light combination that is smoky merlot in the inside and then three coats of obsidian covered with three coats of smoky merlot four coats of seaweed and then three coats of indigo float Here's a cup, tumbler, just been sitting on the shelf for a while and then thought of glazing them. It's just the three coats of iron luster and three coats of oatmeal. Okay, here's a platter. Kind of bluish. Okay, so what I did with this one is I applied a coat of the Storm Celadon and then I wiped it out. And then on the rim, I did three coats of Storm, but just the rim. And then if you're going to look at the lighter color, it's lighter than the storm, that is three coats of sky. That is the three coats of sky celadon. And then at the very center, I did three coats of ice. All of them are celadon from the Amaco. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. And then the back, the back part is just three coats of storm. Again, it's just like the Northern Light vibe, but instead, instead of just playing a seeing a plane of obsidian at the bottom that is actually three coats of the cosmic tea dust. I would have never thought that I'm going to love the cosmic tea dust so much. But I only love putting it in my planters though. So inside and then the rim and then the bottom part that is three coats of the cosmic tea dust and then this portion the base is two coats of obsidian, three coats of smoky merlot, three coats of seaweed, I mean four coats of seaweed, and then the indigo float. That's what you're seeing, the blue right there. And then the saucer is just three coats of the cosmic tea dust. Tea dust. Same combination of the cosmic tea dust and then the obsidian covered by smoky merlot, three coats, four coats of seaweed, and then three coats of the indigo float, and then cosmic tea dust bottom part, and then the inside. That's how it's gonna go. Lastly, here's my practice when it comes to hand building. That is the same combination with the smaller platter that I have shown earlier, except that this is big. So that is three coats of the storm. And then the front, I did a coat of the storm and then wipe it out with a sponge. 
and then the rim three coats of the storm and then you can see the bluish part that is three coats of sky and then three coats of the ice I just love it. I think I got the mushroom textured rolling pin from Glacier.